No, like 10. Coming up on UCF Nightly News, a man who made it to midfield on notice during the UCF Missouri game got students talking and we looked into saf safety here on campus. Then, for the first time in two years at UCF, student government senate elections now have two proposed tickets. And since it is a national election year, we are covering politics for you. Nightly News starts now. Good afternoon and welcome to Nightly News. I'm Nicole Snyder. And I'm Michelle Russo. Today is Friday, October 5th. On Saturday's game against Missouri, an unexpected intruder walked onto the middle of the football field during a timeout. UCF Nightly News reporter Kayla O'Brien joined us live in the newsroom with what she uncovered about this incident. Students who described this incident, who witnessed it, say that it was bizarre. 27-year-old Richard Valdez, who was not a UCF student, snuck out onto the field while the marching band was getting ready for their halftime performance. In this video that you're about to see, you see Valdez walk all the way to the 50-yard line directly in the middle of the field before authorities put him in a chokehold. Valdez struggled, but UCF PD eventually arrested him. The police report shows he faces two misdemeanor charges of trespassing and interrupting an educational function. After Valdez's arrest, students reached out to UCF Nightly News about odd behavior that he displayed earlier in the week. I investigated these claims and found out that people are concerned that the UCF Police Department did not do enough to get this man the help they say he deserved. I visited the address Valdez gave police. When I knocked on the door, a UCF student who wishes to remain anonymous spoke with me about his relationship with Valdez. He told me Valdez is shy and lives in his car near the university. And he hopes Valdez gets the help he needs. Others voiced their concerns through Facebook. Several students witnessed Valdez acting odd at the student union. I was with a group of other students and it was really weird because he started waving around a Bible and he's just like... Ladies and gentlemen, can I have your attention? I am the Son of God, the Messiah. Open up your eyes and see. As you can see in this video, during an emergency evacuation last week, Valdez went under the police tape and sat in the middle of the street. I spoke with Dr. Duray, a psychotherapist with 34 years in private practice and a PhD in psychology, about what Valdez may be experiencing. Dr. Duray is not working with or has ever met Valdez, but is providing her professional opinion. Some therapists who have seen the behavior and read about this in the paper might say he might be having a psychotic episode, he might be taking medication and not be taking his medication to provoke something like this, he might be suffering from a delusional state, um, and it's important to know that someone like this needs to be taken to Lakeside instead of taken to jail. Chad Bennett from UCF News released this statement about the security breach. Bright House Network Stadium is a very safe environment for our fans, student athletes, coaches, and staff members. We have hosted UCF football games on campus for six years, and Saturday's game was the first time an unauthorized person ran onto the field during a game. He did not pose a threat to anyone. And UCF PD says that if you see Valdez on campus again, he can be arrested for trespassing. In the newsroom, Kayla O'Brien, back to you, Nicole. Thank you, Kayla. And with the election at the beginning of November, here at Nightly News, we are covering all things political for you. Reporter Karen Lair is here to update what we have this week. Thank you, Nicole. On November 6, voters have more decisions to make than just who they want for president. Floridians now have 11 amendments to choose from. Those are the most amendments on a ballot in Florida during a general election. 
Rick Fogelsong, a political science professor at Rollins College, says on average if a voter hasn't read the amendments before going to the polls, it could take between 20 and 30 minutes to read through them all. Fogelsong says you should remember to review your amendments before you vote. On Wednesday, presidential candidates Mitt Romney and Barack Obama met in Denver, Colorado for the first debate of the election season. The candidates talked about a wide range of issues from education spending to tax cuts. A CNN poll shows that 67% of voters believe Romney debated better than the president. But an NPR poll released Thursday shows President Obama still has a seven-point lead. The UCF College Democrats celebrated the debate on campus with pizza in the student union. And the college Republicans met just off campus at a local restaurant. Tuesday afternoon, actress America Ferreira spoke to UCF students about the importance of voting. Ferreira teamed up with Voto Latino and launched her own campaign, America for America. Although her manager prohibited TV cameras from the room, nightly news reporters were in the audience. Ferreira said, we can't just get mad, we have to register to vote. Visit nightlynews.ucf.edu for more on this event. Earlier this week,